Welcome back to more Old World as Julius Caesar and the New Wonders and Dynasty DLC. This is episode number three. I think you guys have really been enjoying this series. Old World always seems to do well, and I'm really happy to see that because it's one of my favorite games to record. Um, so yeah, we're going to dive back in. We completed our first ambition right at the end of the last episode. So if you missed that, I might want to go check that out. So if you, yeah, dive back in. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, do all that sort of good stuff. And yeah, let's dive in. So... Roma has a new thing we can do an apprentice acolyte to get two of uh two two of two different things. So let's two culture and two science. So we're gonna do the acolyte and we'll do that right now. It's only gonna take two semesters, which will line us up with drama. While I'm thinking about it, um audio. Music recording and streaming copyright safety mode. Yes, we want that on. Okay, so uh, let's go and see what we can't do. We have our militia. We are currently working on trying to get... We got that one down. All right. I've been a couple of days since I played some kind of, some kind of trying to uh, reacquaint myself here. We can go pretty far out with our thing, so that's good. We can't embark already, which is a huge step in the right direction. Or we can, can't embark completely, but we can embark with our scouts, which is all I really need right now. Um, I'm just going to kind of move y'all. We're going to start moving most of our guys. back towards this way. Right, Queen Consort Calpurnia has converted to Roman Paganism and Kush has been con done construction of the Jerwan Aqueduct. The leading Roman Pagan priests of Roma have come to your court to request that you control six mines or kill five vandals. The humble emissaries claim that support for their ambitions will strengthen the religion tie of the crown, an alliance between the gods and king that will surely lead Rome to greatness. We're going to control six mines because we've already sort of started that. I'm not going to use all of my things here. We're going to kind of fortify y'all. We got two orders. So let's just use them. So they don't go to waste. So I guess Kush is another one of our uh, opposition. Which means that they are starting on World Wonders a little faster than I expected them to. We shall deal with it, I guess. I mean... Mark Anton to the Younger has been feeling quite poor lately and is now ill. Uh-oh. Let's go Metaphysics. It's a little out there, but I think it's a good thing to go for, so... Let's see. Our worker still has two more turns. Maybe we could build a second worker to get things going here. Cannot do that. We need the developing culture. Yeah. 
Hold control to insert at the front. We're gonna put you right there. That's gonna take eight things. Ooh. It'll take a while. Alright. We got one more order left. We can't really do much with one order, so I'm just gonna kinda move one of our scout units that is currently embarked. What are we building here? A hamlet. Now we can do our first wonder. I just saw that in our production menu. News arrived from Greece that King Leonidas, the ambitious of Greece, has died. A new ruler. King Lysimachus, the new of Greece, a ten-year-old, has taken the throne. Their opinion of you is now upset. I am being told by a ten-year-old that they don't like me. That does not mean much. Roma's treasury overflows with gold. The city's leaders call for immediate funding of city prospects. What should they even do with these excess funds? Bonus to our military, obviously. Because a 10 year old hates us. That's going to go really bad really fast. Alright, I'm trying to figure out how we're going to get our score back up. I mean, we're doing good on that front. I mean, we just need to spam mine, basically, is what I'm thinking. To get up to six and get this one done. That gets us another point. You got our status. There we go, that gets it where I want it. Can we hurry it? 160. We have the resources for that, but we have the we do not have the happiness level. They're already discontent. Alright, let's we'll keep an eye on that. You are cooldown promoted. We'll heal you. Everyone's here. We got 14 things we can do stuff with. Let me go and heal you. Get you back on land. Enough time to do that. We're fours in terms of the score victory progress. Um, one from Weak City, two from Developing City, zero from Wonder. I'd like to fix that. I'd like to get some wonders up in this joint.
There are vandals right there, all right. We have our next prime directive. Go up there and take out some vandal scum. A delegation from Greece is set to, sent to help settle a minor dispute that is brewing between your two nations. Oh, he's a ten-year-old. At dinner, one of your party, their party speculates on who could beat the gods of the war. The gods of war leads to a spirited debate. They put forward General Leo Tychidas, the commander. Who do you choose? Sorry, I gotta say it. I don't want a 10 year old causing war. Time to start spamming mines, folks. Shouts from the trees. Our men hurry toward the noise and discover an injured Kushite lying in the dirt. His companions work frantically to treat his wounds. According to the men, their caravan was transported and gets to the nearest Kushite city where they were attacked by bandits. They managed to repel their attackers and save their cargo with fine wine. We're going to be nice. We've discovered Kush who was in the same set up as us three points <laughs> over numerous encounters you have found yourself Drone to Plowsy the soldier, who your shared interest in matters of war, glory, and battle proves to be a blood soap of a serious battlefield for this militant friendship. How will you strengthen this relationship? That's how we're gonna do it. Scholars to the side of the Vandal defeat discover shrines, carvings, and statues depicting the worship of fire. They believe these treasures are associated with the cult of flame, an ancient tribal religion still practiced by many of our subjects. The cult's icons are secret to its followers, so we should proceed with caution. We're going to purify that. I don't want to put a cult in my city. That, that'd just be pretty bad. So we're just not going to do that right now. Thrasians be multiplying. We're going to embark you on this turn while we can. In semester. Mark Antony the Younger is no longer ill, he is fully recovered, and Zoroastrianism has been found in Karanag, a Kush town. A merchant recently returned from Kush describes the unusual practices of the people of Karanag. The following, teach, following the teachings of the prophet Zoroaster, they have started making sacrifices to a god named Ahura Mazda. Tales of sacred fires, animal sacrifices, and a cosmic struggle between gods are soon spreading around the court.
I'm not going to bow to religious demands for now. Uh, we're going to keep that. Uh, Greece hates them. The Vandals hate me, obviously, because I've killed like four of their guys. We'll develop into a hovel in ten semesters. What is a hovel? I've never actually looked that up. Hovel. Plus 20% defense strength. Produces tribal units. Get bonus upon clearing tile. Develops into outposts in 10 to 20 turns. Okay. I think we might want to let that simmer and then go for it. Scout. Suffering from one too many disappointments, Pompeius the Righteous has chosen to take his grievances abroad. In the dead of night, he and his family slip across the border of a possession in tow, assisted by servants of several powerful Greek families. Pompeius receives an appointment in the Greek military almost immediately after arriving. His expertise will serve Greece well. Can build a, we can build the lighthouse. All right, that is a big deal. We can actually build the lighthouse as the first. You know what? Hold alt to buy it. It needs three thousand six hundred coins. Good lord! Get me back up there. The ziggurat needs six hundred stone. Which we don't have a lot of stone. That's for sure. Put a miner in right there to help our science. 